I'm starting to fear that you're not very smart. Mind your tongue, Oracle. Oh, I mean no offense. I'm not talking about you. I'm talking about your species. How long have these prophets been anointing Arbiters? Since the fall of Falchavami, the first disgraced Arbiter. Roughly 400 years ago. Incredible! And in all this time, it never occurred to you how convenient it was that your prophets were able to find a powerful, capable leader among your people, who happened to suddenly commit a terrible blasphemy every time the power structure of your covenant was threatened. I do not understand. Hmm, you do little to dissuade my fears. Then teach me. Looking back at the record of the Arbiters you discussed, was it not surprising to anyone that those chosen to become Arbiter were more than simple warriors? How so? Each of them had significant political influence among your people. In some cases, that influence was already being used to question the decisions of your hierarchs. In fact, that very questioning often gave rise to the charges of heresy that so neatly removed the challenger from the hierarch's concern. And once they were branded Arbiter... 
They promptly and quite cheerfully ran to meet their deaths. All our lives we look down at the path, put our feet where the prophets tell us. All our lives spent convincing ourselves of the truth of our covenant. Could all of it truly have been wasted? Let's hope not all of it, for we have a great deal of work to do. The Flood is still out there, so I require a cooperative reclaimer to enact proper containment procedures. But your Covenant keep trying to kill all the Reclaimers I can find. All this bickering is quite a deadly waste of time. Right now, the most important question we can ask is this. Who could break this hold the Prophets have over you? Arbiter, the counselors, are they murdered by the brutes? Fire, disloyal beasts. The prophets were fools to trust them. 